We continue to bring you coverage on the death of Deputy Christopher Knight and safety concerns at the Bibb County Jail. There are new details tonight as Sheriff David Davis and the GBI say they believe the attack on Knight by an inmate was not captured on camera. Ashlyn Webb has digged into this story today. She joins us live with what she found. Yes, good evening, Lori. Sheriff David Davis says in recent years, they've spent nearly a million dollars upgrading or installing surveillance cameras throughout the jail. But Todd Crosby with the GBI says so far in their investigation, they have found no video of the attack. What can you tell us right now about what we did capture on camera and what we what was not captured on camera with the incident Tuesday morning? Well, we're looking That's all part of the internal affairs investigation. Uh, you know, it looks like so far that the actual event uh, may have not been been captured on camera. GBI special agent in charge Todd Crosby confirmed they have not found video of the stabbing. Crosby says the attack happened in the jail's administrative office area around here. This is where the lieutenant's office is, and in that area is observation cells. There are a couple of cells in that area, but inmates are not typically housed there. They're not, you know, they may be brought in for just a, a minute or two, but there's not a uh, long-term uh, housing unit. But why did the deputies take inmate Albert Booz to that area of the jail? That's that's part of what we're trying to figure out. That's that's part of uh, part of the investigation as to you know what was what was the decision points that uh, had that inmate being brought to that particular part of the jail. According to county records, the Bibb County Sheriff's Office submitted a request for contractors to bid on installing security equipment for the law enforcement center in 2016. That document lists areas where surveillance cameras need to be installed or upgraded. It mentions a camera in the area of administrative cell one and two at the lieutenant's office entrance. So was there cameras there or were the cameras not working? That's the thing I was trying to figure out. That's <laughs> That's something we got to figure out from the investigation. You know, uh, you know, I, right now I don't, I don't know that that information. GBI special agent in charge Todd Crosby says this has not hindered their investigation. So far, they have interviewed 15 deputies who either worked with inmate Albert Booz or witnessed the attack. Reporting live in Macon, Ashlyn Webb, 13 WMAZ News. Thank you, Ashlyn. Yesterday, the GBI announced 11 charges for Albert Booz for the murder of Deputy Knight.